and welcome to the 2021 Granite Mike Awards. I'm Tracy Caruso, Executive Director of the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters. Would you believe this wraps up my fifth year as your director, and I'm excited to announce I've been asked to represent you for another four years. I thank all of you for your confidence and support. I wanted more than anything to be in the same room with each of you, most of you, celebrating our industry and each other. I miss the laughter and the hugs and the reminiscing. I miss the short jokes. Yeah. I know you do. And I know you're as frustrated as I am that once again, I'm on camera with no pants on. Now that's an old joke. We've all used it, but this time it's really true. Danny, show them. Okay, enough fashion, let's talk broadcasting. Another year of having to scrape by, making hard decisions to continue your wonderful work during the pandemic, and hopefully this will all be behind us in the very near future. Your final product doesn't remotely reflect how hard this is. None of us could have imagined this would still be shaping our lives. You've helped the businesses and you've helped NHAB. As many of you know, the association couldn't exist without the NCSA prog program. The non-commercial sustaining announcements were created by the FCC to fund state broadcast associations across the country. This year, we've been supported by Welcome Families New Hampshire, New Hampshire DOT, Marine Trade Association, Department of Health and Human Services, New Hampshire Hunger Solutions, New Hampshire Children's Trust, New Hampshire Community Health Association, and the New Hampshire Army National Guard. We figured out how to be creative with offerings as well. This year, the NHAB was able to offer free sales advice from the help of Mark Levy. We appreciate how many of you used this service and the feedback was wonderful. In other news, the association was proud to hand out $16,000 in scholarships and to New Hampshire students as well as children of New Hampshire broadcasters. Without your financial support, we would not be able to be in the position to help our future broadcasters. And we received confirmation of the importance of our scholarships when Hannah Bruitt, a Trinity High School graduate and Emerson College graduate, was recently hired by CNN Sports in Atlanta. Hannah was last year's Al Sprague Memorial Scholarship winner. We continue to offer legal guidance throughout the year, and I urge you to use NHAB resources when you have a broadcast question. Our attorneys have answered a slew of advertising questions, and through lobbying efforts, we are trying to approve legalization of medical marijuana advertising. Our dedication to supporting our communities is what sets us apart from all other media. It's what we do every day, right, Governor? Absolutely. Local broadcasters is what sets New Hampshire apart from everyone else. It is the heart of 603 Pride. We were unable to travel to Washington, D.C., but we remained in close contact with our delegation. All four of them continue to be strong supporters of New Hampshire broadcasters. We have worked on fighting the performance tax, regulatory fees, advertising taxes, diversity in broadcasting, and of course, COVID-19 issues. Finally, and this is more of a friendly but necessary reminder, your radio broadcast licenses are about to expire. So please make sure your application is in before December 1st. Many of you will want to schedule your alternative broadcast inspections as well. Now, I'm honored to introduce our NHAB board chairman, Matt Cross. Thanks, Tracy. Well, as we know, it's been another year of trial and tribulation with the pandemic, but as I said last year, you know, we've, we've gotten through it. And we'll continue to get through it until we're on the other side of this thing. Uh, you know, we've you know we've revamped, we've retooled, remodeled, you know, whatever it's taken to continue to survive and can it continue to be relevant to the public that we serve. And uh, you know, I'm proud of each and every station in this state. You know, whether it be TV, radio, you know, we've continued to make it happen. And you know, really, that's that's what it's all about. You know, we remain relevant uh, to the listeners and uh, viewers that we serve. And We'll continue to do that into 2022. Uh, I appreciate your confidence in me as I continue as chairman in 2022. Uh, as always, feel free to reach out uh, for anything. Uh, you know, we're here for you. Uh, the association specifically exists because of and for you. Uh, so if you have any questions, concerns, anything, feel free to reach out to me directly and I'll certainly address it for you. 
Thank you. I'm humbled and grateful to continue to serve as your chairman, and I look forward to a prosperous 2022. Thanks, Matt. Let's not let the pandemic stop us from celebrating. I promise to do everything in my power to make sure at some time in 2022, we will all be in the same room. This year, there were 195 Granite Mike entries. Our colleagues in Colorado judged the competition. Let's get started. First category is Public Affairs Talk Show. It's a program of issues of interest to the community with local host. In radio, our merit award goes to WKBK. Dan's daughter gets COVID. And first place this year, again, WKBK for Doctor's Roundtable on COVID. And now we have a drive up site that's functional and keen. This is pretty exciting. Oh, indeed. It is, um, it is definitely an exciting time and something we're truly lucky and honored to be a part of. I think the phase 1A really went off well for us. For TV, the Merit Award goes to WMUR-TV for Granite State Debates, 1st Congressional District. And first place goes to WMUR-TV for Granite State Debates, U.S. Senate. Let's take a look. Thank you for joining us tonight, Mr. Messner and Senator Shaheen from Washington. We want to start with an opening question about the pandemic that has created this very unique setup that we're in right now. Our next category is Spot News. This is coverage of a single news event or issue. For radio, the Merit Award goes to WKBK, Abby Spot News. And first place, Great Eastern Radio, COVID-19 update. Let's listen. The New Hampshire Department of Justice is reviewing other states' departments of revenue. It's to determine if any state is improperly collecting income tax from New Hampshire residents. And for TV, the Merit Award goes to WMUR-TV for Bird Hits Air Force Two. And first place, WMUR-TV, Ghislaine Maxwell arrest. A major development in the Jeffrey Epstein story, the woman said to be his longtime companion, Ghislaine Maxwell, arrested here in New Hampshire. Moving on to documentary news. That's in-depth coverage of a single news event or topic. In radio, the merit goes to NHPR. Document the list. And first place is WMLL, my cousin Louie. New York City is opening. Let's listen. Things like they actually turn the subways on after midnight again, which and, and you can and restaurants can stay open past 9 30, 10 o'clock, which means we are again the city that never sleeps. And now over to TV where the Merit Award goes to NHPBS for Roads to Recovery. And first place this year, WMUR TV New Hampshire Chronicle, Sketches of Lee. Watch this. What started out as an effort to capture a father's story turned into a sometimes painful journey through New Hampshire history. One of the things that I found in telling stories about my family is it hurts. Moving on to feature story. It's a presentation of a single human interest story that is not closely tied to a recent news event. For radio, the Merit Award goes to NHPR. It's my future a new generation of young climate activists. And first place goes to WMLL, J.R. Russell in Memoriam 2020. Man Rush has died after a three-year battle with brain cancer. Hurt joined the band in 74. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with his bandmates in 2013. He was 67. And now TV The Merit Award goes to NHPBS, Windows to the Wild, White Mountains. And first place is WMUR-TV, New Hampshire Chronicle, Little Boy Lost. Take a look. As Bill Mulcahy strolls through the East Washington Cemetery, he studies the gravestones, each with a story to tell. Look at this, served at the Battle of Bunker Hill. Okay, newscast. This is a clip or montage of a single newscast, weathercast, or sportscast. For radio, Merit is WKBK, Abbey Newscast. And first place is WTSN, WTPL, WEMJ, the pulse of New Hampshire's noon news hour with Mike Pomp. Congratulations, Mike. Some breaking news this afternoon. Authorities now say one person has died in a house fire in Northwood that injured a firefighter last night. Fire Chief Mark Tetro says the firefighter suffered second-degree burns to the wrist and face and was treated at a hospital last night. 
The TV Merit, WMUR-TV, News 9 Tonight, Death of Governor Steve Merrill. And first place is WMUR-TV News 9 Tonight for New Hampshire Votes. Let's watch. Not sticking with just one party as Governor Sununu was re-elected to a third term in the corner office. Packing the polls, voters shattering records this election and breaking now a town reporting problems with its counts. Moving on to sports play-by-play -play for radio, the merit goes to WBNHLP. First place, WBNHLP for baseball playoffs, Bedford versus Central. Way to go. Central's got a tough one to face in Capilo. They haven't seen him yet. And Evan Capilo, of course, a junior pitcher, also plays second base when he's not. Our sports feature, presentation of a single sports topic. For radio, the merit goes to WTSN, WTPL, WEMJ, The Pulse Sports on the Morning Information News Center. In first place, WFTN, Mixed Daily Scoreboard. They were signing free agents and handed out money yesterday like they were stimulus checks. The legal tampering period for the new league year in the NFL started yesterday and the Pats were the busiest team in the league. They for TV, the merit goes to WMUR-TV, New Hampshire Chronicle, pro drifter Ryan Turk. First place, NHPBS, Windows to the Wild, High Places. You know, every time I pass through Franconia Notch on the highway, I can't help but look up at the massive cliffs on both sides of the road and think, oh man. Moving on to air personality. This is a clip or montage of a single on-air personality. This year, the Radio Merit Award goes to WLKZ 104.9 The Hawk, Zach Derby. And first place, WJYY, Nazzy. What's happening? Afternoons with Nazio, what if I five JYY playing the music that's gonna get everybody in the Granite State through Thursday. That much closer to Friday. Don't worry, we've got some great music to make you feel good. And TV, Merritt, WMUR TV, New Hampshire Chronicle, Aaron Falo. First place, WMUR TV, New Hampshire Chronicle, Fritz Weatherby. Congratulations, Fritz. And Bill McGee walked up to her desk and he said, May I please have a sheet of yellow lined paper, Miss Grund? And Miss Grund nodded and reached for the paper and was about to hand it to Bill when he said, Baby. The next category is radio only. It's morning show team. This is a clip or montage of morning show radio personalities and this year's merit goes to WKNE, Steve and Terry in the morning. In first place, WGIR, WHEB, Greg in the Morning Buzz. Let's listen. Uh, so much fun, right? In the old days, remember that? Right, Laura? B before Laura, even. Right here. It's great music that goes great with unsafe sex. Don't do that. What? <laughs> Moving on to station promotional announcement. This is a promotion of your station written and produced by your station. For radio, the merit goes to W-E-R-Z, Z-107, car or cash raffle. And first place is W-H-E-B, The Buzz presents Smith and Myers. How he got so good at being bad at Listen life. to Greg in the Morning Buzz to win a COVID safe pod. Up to six people, maybe even a front row pod. Blue on, black. on to TV, the Merit Award goes to W-M-U-R-T-V, Fritz Weatherby's Haunted New Hampshire. And first place is WMUR-TV, 2020 Year Ender. As you search for that escape in your own backyard, we were there for you, then, now, and in the year ahead. Okay, our next category is for sales. It's an individual commercial. This is a single commercial written and produced by your station. For radio, the merit goes to WBYY, Patty B's Secret Sauce. And first place is WBYY, Sanford Sewing Yoga Rock. Your grandmother slowly and gently uses her tried and true sewing machine to stitch yet another potpourri packet for the bathroom. And then... Sorry, Yoga Master Yanni, you're in the wrong building today. TV, the merit is WMUR-TV, Marquee Metal Roofing. And first place, WMUR-TV, Granite State Cabinetry. 
where do I sign? We love our kitchen. The cost is competitive, and if you consider their service an amazing fall through, it's a bargain. And that incredible showroom, wow. And now for commercial campaign. It's a series of spots written and produced by your station as a total campaign package. For radio, the Merit Award goes to WKNE for Jack's Hardware. And first place is WBYY Colony Auto Squirrel Life. The pros had quality, mountain balance, snow, and all season tires from the big name companies like Goodyear, Michelin, and Toyo. They go the extra mile for your family to keep you safe. Set up your appointment at colonyautobody.com. And TV, the merit goes to WMUR TV for Manadnock Oil and Vinegar. And first place, WNNE TV, Charlie Boutry. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Wait, shouldn't he be compensated for all of his medical expenses? And all of his lost wages? And all of his pain and suffering? Smart kids. Okay, best use of digital media. This award is given to the station that makes the digital world work for them. For radio, the merit this year is NHPR, a year in digital firsts. While first place goes to WOKQ, WSHK, and WSAK. Congratulations. In TV, the merit goes to NHPBS, the state we're in. And first place, WMUR-TV, WMUR Digital Media. With the coronavirus pandemic, our digital platforms gave viewers a constant stream of critical information. We live streamed every daily press briefing from the Emergency Operations Center with over 1 million views. Best Station Promotion. It's a unique event produced and promoted by your station. For radio, the Merit Award is WMVX, Who's Behind the Mask? Well, first place goes to WHDQ, Vax Cards for Gift Cards. Listen. If you choose to get the COVID-19 vaccine, you might also win some cool stuff. Sweet. Really awesome. Just go to the Q106 Facebook page and upload a selfie holding your vaccination card to the Vax Card post. And TV, the merit goes to NHPBS, celebrating 60 years. And first place, WMUR-TV Songfest. Let's watch. We have a whole hour of music from local bands and performers to send you off into a beautiful New Hampshire autumn. Celebrating art with the power to bring everyone together. And when it was over, we created a special page with all their original music. Moving on to local special program or event. It's a unique event produced and promoted by your station. For radio, the merit goes to WLKZ, WWLK, 39th Annual Greater Lakes Region Children's Auction. And first place this year, WTPL, WTSN, WEMJ, make 12 hours count. Shortly, we're going to hear from Ryan Pitts, New Hampshire's recipient of the Medal of Honor, Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts. As always, I am delighted. It's my seventh annual Make 12 Hours Count. Moving on to the TV category, Merit WMUR, Pack-A-Pack. -pack. And first, WMUR-TV, New Hampshire Chronicle Helpers and Heroes of the Pandemic. Tonight on Chronicle, New Hampshire Together. From a heartfelt show of support for our healthcare workers, to the mask makers and those helping to feed our neighbors. And for LP FM radio only, what makes your local programming unique? There's just one, it's first place, and it's WBNH LP Bedford 105.1. Some town departments use Bedford 1051 to promote their events. The fourth annual Bedford Rotary Trails to Ales Road Race happens Thursday, August 19th at Earl Legacy Park in Bedford. Public service announcement. For radio, the Merit Award goes to WBNHLP, Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains. And first place, WMVX for annual food drive. Let's listen. The man said the food is running out. Oh, that's terrible. We have to help the families, Mama. Join Valley 98.9, Pat's Key and Lock, and the Salem Exchange Club as we help and feed our neighbors during this nationwide crisis. The TV merit goes to NHPBS for New Hampshire Vote Safe. And first place is WMUR-TV, the spirit of giving toy drive. We aren't collecting toys in person, but it's easier than ever to donate. Just go to our website, purchase a toy from the wish list, or make a cash donation and our elves will do the shopping for you. For public service campaign of the year, 
the Radio Merit, WHEB, WGIR, the 30th annual Lend a Helping Can. First place, Great Eastern Radio. Be the match. Let's listen. Hey, it's Devony from your local radio station, and in less than a month, I will receive a bone marrow transplant, and it's gonna save my life. And it's from a stranger. This person joined the Be The Match donor registry. And for TV, first place only, WMUR-TV, public service goes virtual. In a time of great need, WMUR rose to the occasion and took new action to help those struggling. We reinvented ways to engage with our viewers, and the result, record-setting donations for our station's biggest public service campaigns. Here we go, the big one, Station of the Year for Radio. The merit goes to WHDQ. And first place, let's watch. 2020, the year of the big suck. We had a lot of challenges, but thanks to ingenuity and creativity, we were able to navigate through uncharted territory. While our listeners had to adjust to this, We at WZID decided that we needed to remain the one constant in their lives. In other words, do what we always do. When they turned us on, we made them laugh. I think what we should be talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is what the hell did we bring to Mars? If we brought that damn coronavirus up here and we're on Mars, they are going to be royally ticked off, let me tell you. We made them think. 95.7 WZID. We're all in this together. We're here with you. If you need any information, the latest numbers, resources, we've got it. WZID.com. And we kept them in the know. Well, Governor Sununu has extended the state of emergency due to COVID-19 for another 30 days as things continue to increase with cases in the state. Congratulations, WZID. And for TV, Station of the Year, there is only a first place. So let's watch. First Informers, only WMUR broadcast every update from the State Emergency Operations Center, bringing real-time updates from state leaders. Knowing there would be many more questions, we had those leading New Hampshire's coronavirus response in newscasts every week, providing in-depth answers directly to viewers. High school kids impacted differently, seniors missing their final year of sports, and many long-awaited rites of passage. Again, WMUR took action, showing photos of the grads in newscasts. And a message to Portsmouth High School graduate, Gabriela Martinez, her family says they are so proud. Running uplifting messages from friends and family, and ultimately in a special celebrity music and inspiration-filled program to give seniors across the state some special recognition. It wasn't just local businesses, kids, and graduates that needed help. Every nonprofit with a major fundraising event canceled due to COVID, but WMUR worked with each partner to promote their alternate virtual events instead. It's easier than ever. Pick your own route. Where Congratulations to all of our 2021 Granite Mic Award winners. Once again, we will make sure you receive your plaques and certificates in person or by mail in the coming days. And now, the coveted Broadcaster of the Year Award. Let's watch. Broadcasting and baseball, the two words perhaps most closely associated with the passions and motivations of this year's Broadcaster of the Year. But he's so much more. He grew up in a traditional Italian family with his parents and brothers living upstairs and grandparents living downstairs. Big family gatherings included lots of food and many extended family members. Fred Caruso's love of sports, especially baseball, started as a child with ball games in the street with the neighborhood kids and his brothers, of course. Hey, Fred, on behalf of your brothers and I, we'd like to congratulate you on winning the New Hampshire Broadcaster of the Year Award. We are all proud of you, including Myron and Dad, who are looking down on you. He even skipped school to go to a doctor's appointment so he could go with his dad to see a 1967 World Series game. If he wasn't at the plate, he dreamt of being in the booth. He was influenced to go into radio by his uncle, Carl Caruso. He was most famous for being the ABC announcer for Father Knows Best in Lassie. Fred studied broadcasting at Leland Powers School of Broadcasting. From there, he started a long career at WFTN as the program director. 
In 1978, he walked into the door and soon met a beautiful local woman who caught his eye. And in 1982, he married his soulmate, Sherry, and adopted her son, Brian. Not long after welcoming their daughter, Tracy, WFTN gave him the opening he still holds today. With the retirement of the morning announcer in the mid-80s, Fred became the morning personality. In addition to his morning on-air responsibilities, he's also served as the operations director and most recently been promoted to assistant general manager at Northeast Communications. Hi, Fred. Congratulations for being broadcaster of the year. Fred and I have worked together for 41 years. And in that time, he's raised $25,000 for a new fire truck. He's been part of raising a million and a half dollars for the HK Power Sports Land and Lakes Poker Run. And most of all, he's had tremendous success for over 40 years with his cash and cans holiday food drive. Fred, you're a credit to Northeast Radio Group, a credit to your community, a credit to your family. He created the Mix Cash and Cans Drive, where he spends a week in a van going around collecting cash from many local charities in the Lakes region. Hundreds of thousands of dollars and tons of cans have been raised in the decades since it started. For many years, he participated in the New Hampshire Special Olympics Penguin Plunge at Hampton Beach, as well as the Winnie Dip held annually on Lake Winnipesaukee. Fred Caruso is probably the most well-known figure in the Lakes region. Fred values Special Olympics as he does hundreds of other organizations. There aren't many events that happen in the Lakes region without Fred being a part of or supporting. We believe that Fred is a great recipient of the Association of Broadcaster Broadcaster of the Year. Congratulations, Fred. I'll get in the catcher's position. I'm, don't hold on. Hold on. Five, three, two, one, plunge! God, you're killing me! Ah! SONH.org, do it! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, we're just outside and uh, Amy just dumped a bucket of cold water over my head for uh, Special Olympics New Hampshire. Congratulations, Fred. Nobody deserves the Broadcaster of the Year award more than you. Except maybe me. But it's your year, and it's been an amazing 20 years, and I look forward to another 20 with you. Congratulations, buddy. You deserve it. Whenever there's a local event, Fred Caruso is there. He even walks the Tanger Breast Cancer 5K in memory of a friend and former coach, Amy Dutton, a fixture at the Pines Easter and Christmas breakfasts. Fred goes out of his way to help in a community event. An accomplished baseball coach at the Winnesquam High School, he has mentored many generations of boys even winning a state championship and having one of his star players signed to the New York Yankees. The best thing about Coach Caruso was always his positive, energetic attitude. Um, he's a wealth of baseball knowledge, um, but he's just so much more than that. He's such an amazing role model, such a great mentor, and he's just an unbelievable baseball coach, and I couldn't imagine you know, being where I am today without him. Fred's wife says they can't go anywhere without someone coming up to him and saying, they get out of bed with Fred, or... They've been listening to him since they were young. He is very highly regarded in the community with numerous recognitions, known for his genuine personality, tireless efforts to help local causes, and teach the younger generation the importance of giving whatever they can afford. Hi, Papa. Congratulations for winning the award. I love you. Hi, Papa. Congratulations for the award. I love hearing you on the radio and hitting with you. Bye! Congratulations on the award. We're all proud of you. Couldn't think of anyone better to get it. We all love you. Fred and his wife Sherry will be celebrating their 40th anniversary next year. And you can bet that close-knit family will be celebrating together. Hey Fred, congratulations on Broadcaster of the Year. You definitely deserve it. You're awesome. You know that. Congratulations, man. Hey Dad! Congratulations on winning Broadcast from the Year. We're so proud of you. You've been my role model since I was born and you're a role model for so many people in our community. You've done so much for people. I admire you every day when I see all the good you put into this world. Um, 
you know, I remember being younger and people ask me for your autograph because they think you're this big celebrity. And you are in a lot of people's eyes. And you can't go anywhere without being recognized. So we love you so much. We can't think of a better person to get this award and we're so proud of you. Love you. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Thank you for being you. Love you. Kind, generous, dedicated, humble. Fred Caruso, the 2021 Broadcaster of the Year. Once again, special thanks to Nielsen Audio for being our awards video sponsor this year. And that's a wrap of our 44th annual Granite Mike Awards. I wish we could have all been in the same room, but we'll see you next year.